Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well. So, new project for the channel is in here. So this is a Still 08S that I'm rebuilding for the uh, owner of my local steel shop. Now I've taken it all apart and uh, I'd actually done a repair. I rebuilt this pocket. I'll, I'll uh, add some photos in here so you get an idea as to what I did to that pocket. And uh, that was fine. I taped it all off. I got a paint match. As you can see, this has all been repainted. I, I did the paint job on it. However, uh, I'd noticed when I wanted, went to go test the paint, it peels off. And uh, I'd done the preparation all correctly. Everything's been really well uh, you know, keyed in, sanded, very well cleaned with uh, uh, like a, a thinner followed by acetone. Uh, a number of layers of acetone that still didn't stick. And I think the issue is the primer that's used. Although it's for metal, I think an etch primer is going to be a far better solution. So I've got the etch primer. We're going to strip this back and then we're going to uh, repaint it. Well, prime it with the etch primer, repaint it, uh, and then be able to proceed with the rebuild. Um, so we'll get this out and uh, we'll start the process. I haven't got much paint stripper left now. I used a lot of it on the OAS, uh, the OAS, I used a lot of it on the uh, Villiers. I don't know if we'll even need the cling film, it's coming off really nicely. Up to that point, because that's original paint there. Okay, we're going to leave it there, <coughs> and we'll uh, and use that and some water or maybe some acetone. To, uh, to get it off, so cover that up, cover that up. Okay, so it's all starting to come off now. I just want to be careful, I don't know how a paint strip will go with uh, uh, this pocket that I've repaired, whether it will damage the, uh, the epoxy. It shouldn't do, uh, but that's why I'm not going to leave it too long on there. I can always give it more layers of paint stripper, but if it did damage it, it's not going to take too long to give it another extra couple of coats. Before I go over with the water, I found that it's better to actually rub it in and loosen it all up with the um, stripper actually on there because it can kind of re-stick. That's what I found. I guess ideally you'd use something like a methylated spirits or acetone, and I have got acetone here, uh, but it can stick and then it can get really tricky to get it off. It turns into that horrible paste that I was talking about. So uh, yeah. Well, all right, let's give it a, a rinse, and if anything sticks, we'll just go with acetone. I'm going to use cold water because I really don't want steam. Okay, so now the paint's all off pretty much, I just went over the wire wheel just to clean the magnesium up, not to remove the paint. Um, and it's done a great job, you can see how shiny it is now, so at least that's good. I've removed some of the oxidation, I don't want that there. However, now I'm going to go with a Dremel and I'll use a small, I don't know what I'm going to use, I don't know what would be best, this one. It's kind of worn, but it's almost worn to a point. I think that'll be really useful. For example, in here, hopefully you can see. Into here. Very gently on here.
and there's like this lip in here. But we're going to now key in the surface one more time, uh, 320 grit here. So we're going to go over the transition points. We're going to get up inside there. Hot water, um, boiling water. Kitchen sponge probably won't go down well, but that's fine. Oh, that's hot. So now we'll heat it up. Get rid of a little bit of tissue. Again, I'm going to avoid the epoxy area. That's good. Bit more. Well, that's nice and hot. You can hear it sizzling. One. You can see how it still it still had dirt on it, even though we'd cleaned it loads. Go again. That's pretty good preparation there. Can't really do much more than that. But of course, again, as always, you know, I'm on this journey and I'm willing to learn. So if there's anything that you can suggest, then uh, yeah, let me know. All right. Take time. I'm going to put a new blade in the Stanley knife because it makes it so much easier to. the tape cleanly. So we'll use a combination of tissue and tape because I want to be really careful this is old paint and uh, it will flake off so I think we want to uh, use tissue where we can and where we can't we want a nice clean edge, for example, like along here. We're just going to be very careful.
Okay, so now we'll go over with the acetone again. Just before I paint, I'm just gonna make sure that there's no um, lint or anything. This has got a moisture trap on it. Coat number two, the primer. Slightly heavier coat that time. Third primer coat. Now we're going to do the first coat of uh, the enamel that I've had to colour match for this particular colour saw. Yeah. That's pretty good. How about this do? Go away, black bug. Bug. <laughs> we don't want any bugs on our work. Okay. Take number two. Thicker one that time. And the third coat will be the thickest of the lot. Not still not crazy thick, but thicker. So third and final coat now. I think that looks fantastic. All right, here we go, third and final coat done. 
Okay, so it's the uh, next day now. I just, it was getting too late to do the, the reveal, but uh, there we go. That is the pocket done. And uh, one thing that you didn't see was that I did another coat, but a very light dusting coat. And uh, I kept the spray can a bit further away from, um, from the workpiece. And what that allowed is basically it to dry just slightly before it touches, and that removes the shine. You might have seen there was quite a lot of shine um, beforehand, and I could have sanded that off, but uh, I actually prefer this. Again, no, no horrible harsh transitions. I only did that section up to that point, and uh, yeah, I think it's a it's a very good repair. And when the two case halves are together, those two uneven bits will match, and these two clean bits will match. If I take you in there now, I'll show you what that will look like. And here you go. This is the uh, the match. So similar sheen. Uh, has it gone there? Very similar there. This one's not even clean. That side's not even clean yet. But uh, look, I'm really happy. I think the colour looks great. And uh, this is all going to be covered by a muffler anyway. That bolt hole that you can see there, that's all going to be covered. This is basically the whole thing's covered. It's just a tiny little strip you'll see. But uh, yeah, there we go. I'm really happy with that. And uh, the pocket's all done. And uh, you can't really ask for much more than that. So there we go. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.